what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and as you can tell about how many packs i have we're gonna do a big big pack opening so i've been saving up the packs for the past couple weeks whether it's from showdown extreme whether it's from showdown moments um all that the last program this program the eighth and ninth inning programs um player programs just anything that you can earn packs We've been saving them up. We got 216 standard packs, 110 ball ins of habits, 9 silvers, 35 twitch drops, 9 gold packs, 15 team affinities. We also got these like live series players that don't really matter much anymore. We got headliners, a lot of headliners you can see here. Um, we got choice packs from like the conquest maps and all that. Ducks on the pond, home run derby. We got the beach ball. I finished the ninth inning, got the... 300 stars so we're going to choose our boss here as well we got the henchman as well we got tops now and then i also did the postseason stuff that came out today all from the wild card and we might do a video on that like we might do a video where you know i use some guys from like the al and nl and you know do a video on that like i said but today we're going to do a huge pack opening and we're going to start it off by opening the standard packs and then we'll probably move on to the twitch drops and all that so let's just get it going all right let's get it going and see what we can pull last time i did a pack opening i pulled nine diamonds so let's see if you know we can pull that same luck here it's gonna be a long video so probably you know do some cuts here and there all right 16 packs in nothing like out of the ordinary we haven't pulled any golds yet nothing but like silvers and bronzes we're gonna switch it up. Let's go to the Twitch drops. We got 35 of these bad boys. Okay, nothing here. All right, nothing here either. All right, let's go back to the standard packs. I haven't pulled anything big yet. Nothing but bronzes and silvers. Okay, there's our first goal of the video. Let's see what we got. Tanner Rainey. All right, you know what? I'm going to save up those duplicates and try to finish some Team Affinities because, you know, Stage 4 probably coming soon. And I want to get a nice head start on it. Get everyone to 100. So I'm going to keep him for the time being. All right, 175. Okay, second gold. See what we got. Jose Iglesias. Any gold I'm, I pull, I'm probably going to keep. Try to get some duplicates out there to, you know, do the Team Affinity exchanges. Try to get 100%. On stage three. All right, switch it up. Let's go to the Twitch drops. All right, we got a silver. Larry Garcia. All right, another gold. Third gold. Lorenzo Kane. Tried out that 99 Future Stars Pearson. Pretty good. I used them in a video. I think I used them in that Hanley video. By the way, if you missed that Hanley Ramirez debut, I'll probably leave that in the description for you guys to go check out. It's a pretty good video. Um, I did pretty well with Hanley. Um, but like I said, we're probably going to do a lot of uh, content coming up because we got the postseason program going on. We got the event. We got Player of the Month coming out on Friday. So there's a lot of stuff that I'm probably going to make videos on. Probably do some debuts with some guys, whether it's from the postseason program, whether it's from the Player of the Month. We're going to be doing a lot of videos here in the upcoming weeks here on this channel. I want to see the diamond blue. Okay, there's a silver, Brandon Crawford. Probably switch back to the Twitch pack. So we got a gold Brandon belt. So we pulled the two Brandons. Let's go back to the Twitch packs. Open up another 10. Dane Dunning. All right, another gold. Pete Alonzo, big me Pete. All right, last one before we go back. Another silver, Jorge Soler. Damn, these standard packs have been nothing but L's so far. I think I'm pulling it like one maybe two golds out of this everything else is nothing but bronzes all right bruce star grouter all looks like the astros are winning the game is about to head into the ninth inning um the postseason the games have been pretty you know pretty interesting of course yesterday the america league division series got going the astros winning that one ten, i think what 10 to 5 and then the yankees winning last night had that big ninth inning where i think they won what nine to three stan had a huge grand slam then here today, we got the National League going. The Braves and the Marlins got underway earlier today with the, uh, I almost said the Marlins, the Braves winning that one. 
they won i think nine to five um the marlins were in control and then i think the game for me it changed where acuna got hit and that's where the braves i think got all the momentum because from there it was literally all braves had that six run seventh inning travis darno had a home run i think dancy swanson homered as well and the braves have an early one nothing lead and then tonight we got the Bray or not the Bray, the padres at the dodgers and that's probably going to be a good series um i got the padres winning i think they're going to upset the dodgers and move on to the national league championship series because the padres have a lot of good talent i know the dodgers have like boatloads of uh, talent as well of course you got mookie bellinger seager uh, Taylor, Muncy, Kershaw, Bueller, but the Padres, they have a nice good bunch as well. I mean, Tatis, Hosmer, Cronenworth, Grisham, Machado, um, let's see, Tommy Pham, um, Mike Clevenger is going to be pitching tonight. Who knows if Denelson Lamette will come back? I think he will. Rosenthal, Williams, I mean, the Padres have a lot of good talent, and I think they're going to do just enough to beat the Dodgers. I think it's going to go to a five-game series with San Diego pulling off the upset. And moving on to the NLCS. And then for the Braves, um, Braves Marlins. I have the Marlins winning just because, you know, they haven't lost yet in the postseason. And I want to see, you know, them move on and, you know, win the World Series and keep that tradition alive. But with the way they play today after, the, you know, hitting Acuna, I'm not sure about that. But it's still early on. And I do believe the Marlins will win game two. And, you know, get the series tied up. And then tonight, obviously in the American League, it looks like the Astros, as much as I hate that, are probably going to take a two games to nothing lead. And then I think the Rays will bounce back against the Yankees. Um, I have that going five games. I have the Yankees winning. But it's going to be going up to five games. And I think Tampa will win tonight behind uh, Tyler Glass now. All right, we got another gold. Okay, Chris Bryant. 120 packs. Okay, another gold. Max Muncy. We're getting close to 100 standard packs open. We pulled nothing but like bronzes and silvers with like a few golds mixed in there. I haven't pulled a diamond out of this. Alright, another silver. It's 100 packs and no diamonds. Okay, another gold. Chris Bryan again. Like I said, I'm saving all of, all of my uh, duplicates. So uh, I can do the uh, Team Affinity Exchange. Try to get closer to 100% on all of them to get to Stage 4. Can, you know, get up to that nice head start. Okay, another goal. We're pulling a lot of golds. Okay, we got Carlos Carrasco. I think he's going to be that flashback monthly awards uh, thing for, you know, the, f the flashbacks and all that. Because I don't see them releasing another James Paxton. Because we got the 99 James Paxton back in July. And we already got that 99 Christian Yelich. So I think it's probably 100% going to be... Carlos Carrasco for uh, the Classic Player of the Month program. And uh, speaking of Player of the Month, that thing comes out on Friday. I think the Lightning guy, a lot of people are saying Freddie Freeman, but I feel like he's more of a finest type of card that he might get because, you know, he's probably going to win the National League MVP. Oh, God, we pulled a diamond. But, yeah, like I said, he's probably going to win the MVP, and I would be very surprised if he got a Player of the Month because, you know, he's had more than – one good month he's been killing it so far for the braves one of the reasons why they're in the postseason so i think he's probably going to get the finest card um i think maybe jared walsh could get it i mean he had not, he had he had a very nice month for the angels maybe alberto mondesi i would love to see another mondesi card in the game he has that flashback player of the month from mlb 18 imagine they give him another one he would be very glitchy oh we pulled george springer He's been having a nice postseason, and I already know he's going to go diamond in, in the uh, final roster update. So, yeah, you know what that means. Springerd is making a return. So, oh boy. All right, Adam Wainwright. We're going to switch it up. We're going to go to the Team Affinities. Team Affinities are kind of juiced in, in this game this year. So, we're going to switch it up to that. Hopefully, we can pull a diamond. This pack opening has been nothing more than a big L so far. Haven't pulled any diamonds. Pulled, like, a lot of golds, but other than that, it's been nothing more than silvers and bronzes. We pulled a diamond. Diamond nameplate. Probably just quick sell that on the market. Don't really have no use for that. We got another gold, Ryan Presley. 
All right, one more. Another silver, Hector Neris. All right, back to the show packs. Another gold, Corbin Burns. He's probably going to get a couple Cy Young votes in that NL Cy Young chase. Oh, my God, we pulled our first diamond. After how many packs? I think over like 100 packs later, we pulled our first diamond of the video. Okay, American League pitcher. Let's see who it is. Giolito. All right. All right, so we pulled our first diamond. It's Lucas Giolito. Just put that on the quick sell. All right, maybe maybe things are starting to heat up. All right, ball in time. So we're guaranteed a gold in these. I would love to see a diamond hidden in these. Okay, nope, another Presley. Will Smith. Like I said earlier, all of this is going to help out with Team Affinities. Will Smith again. Zach Davies. Charlie Morton. I remember when he was a diamond at the beginning of the year. Tony Gosselin. Chad Green. Gosselin, all right. Still got a long way to go. We still got 100 ball-ins. We still got the, you know, gold and silver packs. We still got the headliners and then the choice packs where we're guaranteed diamonds. So, you know, not all hope is lost yet. And it's just auto-flip Nick Anderson. <laughs> oh, okay. 40 show packs left. Pulled two diamonds, two pitchers. Anderson and Giolito. All right, 25 left. Yeah, these show packs, these standard packs have been nothing but a gigantic L. Been pulling nothing but silvers, bronzes. Pulled a couple golds, only two diamonds from this. I mean, the good thing is I didn't spend any stubs on it. So, I mean, they're all free. I didn't have to spend any stubs. Okay, another gold. We got Giancarlo Stan. He's having a nice postseason. Hit the Grand Slam yesterday. Had two home runs in the Wild Card Series against the Indians. He's having a nice postseason. If he continues this, he's going to go diamond in the roster update. And he might get a postseason card. I say might because he does have that home run derby card that was released back in July. I think it was like a 97. Our right, last one. Nothing. Man. 216 show packs. Only two diamonds. Boatload of gold, a boatload of silvers, and a boatload of bronze cards. That was a freaking L. All right, Ballins, we're guaranteed a gold in this. Okay, we got a diamond. That's a good start. Maybe things are turning around. All right, it's another pitcher. It's a relief pitcher. Is this, is this Devin Williams? Yeah, I had a feeling it was Devin Williams. So I think he's like the only relief pitcher that's a diamond in the National League. I think he might get a finest card because, you know, with the way that he pitched this season, I think he might get one. Maybe Josh Hader, too. All right, another double gold. We got Gosselin and Pomerantz again. Um, one thing I do want to talk about, um, the uh, upload schedule for me coming up, it's going to be pretty busy because, you know, we got the content MLB The Show coming out. Of course, the finest postseason and all that. But, like, after that, it's going to get, like, a lot crowded because, you know, the PS5 comes out in in a month. You got Black Ops Cold War. You got Spider-Man. Like, those are games I, like, wanted, like, make videos on on the channel. And I know I said a long time ago that I wasn't going to be making Call of Duty videos. But, I mean, with zombies coming back and, you know, all that, I do want to, like, you know, try to go back to it. Um... But yeah, it's going to be very interesting, like, in the next couple of months of, you know, the content here. Because I'm still going to be posting MLB The Show. Okay, we got a diamond. Let's see what we got. All right, it's another pitcher. Pulled nothing but pitchers here. Did I just pull Devin Williams again? <laughs> I pulled him again. It's the second time. Right, we're pulling nothing but starting pitchers in, in, for diamonds. But yeah, like I said, um... Content may look a little different in the next couple of months because, you know, like I said earlier, I kind of want to upload some zombies content. 
Because I feel like zombies this year and for Black Ops Cold War, I think it looks really, really good. And I kind of want to like, you know, do some videos on that. Like, you know, Easter egg hunting, play with some friends and, you know, just have a good time. All right, another diamond. Let's see what we got. Another pit. Please don't let it be Devin Williams. Okay, it's not. We got Seth Lugo. I forgot he went diamond. All right, we're pulling nothing but starting pitchers. All right, another diamond. See, I knew they were hiding in the ball as a habit. I knew it. All right, American League. This is DJ. Yep, it's DJ. I, I had a feeling just because I know the animation he has. All right, DJ LeMahieu. All right, that's, that's great. He's playing down? Oh, he's going for 7K. All right, I might do a uh, sell on the market. I'm going to hold on to him. He might get a finest card for the Yankees again. Ozzy Albies. Okay, we got a diamond. Let's take a look at this gold. Brandon Belt. It's another pitcher. It's a starter. It's a lefty. Is this Chris Sale? It's the only lefty they have. I think in the American League, that's a diamond. Just quick sell that. Oh, it looks like the Astros won. So they're up two games to none. And they have a chance to sweep tomorrow and head to the ALCS. They're proving a lot of people. They're, the Astros have a chip on their shoulder because obviously we all know what happened in the offseason with the trash cans. And you know, everyone in baseball just absolutely hates them. I think they overtook the Yankees for the most hated team in baseball. And that's that says something. All right, we got another diamond. Another pitcher. This is Kershaw, huh? This has to be Kershaw. Oh, we just... Oh! We just pulled Jacob DeGrom. Oh my god, let's go. I thought that was a lefty. We just pulled Jacob DeGrom. Let's fucking go. All right. Ooh, oh my goodness. <laughs> he goes for a lot. I'm definitely selling him after I, you know, finish the pack opening. Wow, we pulled Jacob DeGrom. But yeah, like I said, the Astros, they have a huge target on their back because, like I said, we know what happened in the offseason. We know they're probably the hated team in baseball. But they're playing, they're playing pretty well. And they look like a team that, you know, if they get to the World Series, I know a lot of people, including myself, are not going to like that. Because, you know, they don't even deserve to be in the playoffs. Let's be real. Because, you know, the only reason they made it in is because of the 16-team playoff thing. If this was a regular 162, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. But... They're here. They're undefeated so far. They're proving a lot of people wrong. And, you know, all we have to do is just take it and just hope that maybe they lose because I don't want them anywhere near the World Series. Lord Bundy. We saw Dylan Bundy being an absolute stud for the Angels because I know I did. Jose Altuve, man. He, he was like a diamond at the beginning of the year. Then he really just fell off. We got another double gold. Another George Springer. Like I said, he's probably going to go diamond in the final roster update. We got another diamond, so I'm going to save up him as much as I can. See if I can make a profit. Another pitcher. Okay, it's a starter. It's a live series. All right, we got Seth Lugo again. I've been pulling nothing but diamond starting pitchers in this opening. Like, that's all I'm pulling. I mean, we got DeGrom, and we made a huge profit off of that. Probably sell him again after I finish this video. All right, another diamond. Told you the diamonds were hiding. All right, American League. Third baseman. This is probably Jose Ramirez, right? Yeah. I know that animation. Yeah, we got J-Ram. Honestly... He might get some MVP votes because he had that nice stretch where he literally was one of the reasons why the Indians made the postseason. All right, double gold. We got Trevor Man, Matt Olson. All right, let's switch it up. Let's open up these gold packs. Maybe there's a diamond hidden in these. What's the guarantee in this? 1 in 28? We're pulling a lot of George Springers. Okay, we got a diamond. See what we got. Another pitcher. 
It's a starter. Live series. We got Kenta Maeda. Man, it, this pack opening, the diamonds we're getting, nothing but pitchers. Quick sell that, 5K. All right, two more of these left. Andrelton Simmons, all right, final one. We got Sixto Sanchez of the Miami Marlins. I don't know why I quick sold that. Could have helped out with that team affinity exchange. All right, Nelson Cruz, and the final one. Maybe there's a diamond hidden. Okay, I was right. I swear if it's a pitcher. Oh, okay, it's a righty. Oh, this is Freddie Freeman. This is probably the National League MVP. Yep, Freddie Freeman. He's probably going to be the National League MVP. He literally went off, man. And especially coming off like he... I mean, at the beginning of the year, he was out because he had COVID. And then, and then you know, he started off slow, but then he came in and he literally carried... Put the team on his back for the Braves. All right, so we got these packs. Probably open them up at the end. Let's open up the headliners. This is Jeff Bagwell. Nothing. Got a gold. Max Kepler. I think this is Jimmy Rollins. If I pull any of them, this is probably going to be helping out for stubs. This is for Johnny Bench. Ty Cobb. Okay, got a diamond. It's another National League righty. Or lefty, I should say. Okay, right fielder. <laughs> Cody Bellinger. Oh, if this was July, I would be getting a lot of stubs. He's not even worth anything anymore. He fell off so badly this year. He's literally 6.2K. Back in July, he was worth over 1,000. John Franco. Okay, Diamond. Another pitcher. Okay, it's a closer. Veteran. Oh, is this Rob Nen? Okay, so we pulled the headliner. All right, we got Rob Nen. I already have him, so I'm probably going to sell this one on the market once I finish this video. Right, Luis Patino. Oh, did we pull him? Okay, American League. It's a closer. Live series. Nick Anderson. All right, I think this is the second time we pulled him. So we pulled him earlier and we auto-flipped him. Let's quick sell that. All right, I had another Patino. All right, ever since the uh, standard opening, we pull, we've we been pulling a lot of diamonds. Now, I know some of it has to do with the ballins. But, I mean, we're pulling diamonds. All right, Jason Hayward. All right, we got a gold. Miguel Rojas had a big home run for the Marlins today. Probably just going to be rushing through these. We got Mike Clevenger, who's going to knife for the Padres. So that's a big pickup for them because he was out for the uh, the wild card because he was injured. All right, we got Yadi Molina, set 36. Nope. Got another gold, set 40. Not really sure who it is. Okay, we got a diamond. Ken Giles. National League starting pitcher got DeGrom again oh my god yes we made we're making bank off these high diamond pulls especially DeGrom that's our second one of the video I love that we're making we're gonna make a lot of stubs all right Matt Chapman Gene Segura and we got set 45 we got four of these bad boys Oh for one. This is for John Smoltz. Oh for two. Double gold. Nothing there. All right. So not getting John Smoltz. And then the final one. This is for Max Scherzer. Let's see if we can pull him. If I pull him, I'm probably going to do a debut. But that's only if we pull him. Nope. Nope. All right, so the headliners are done. We pulled a lot of diamonds from that. So now we're on the prospects. I'm probably going to cut out the, you know, the packs that are, you know, not really worth it. So we got the prospects set one. I have pretty much the collection done, but if... Okay, so we got... Oh! Oh, they're going for a lot. All right, okay. 
I didn't know the I didn't know how much they were going for. All right, set two. We got Lazardo. I would love to pull these two. Oh my god, yo, we're gonna make so much bank because we pulled those two Degrons and we got this. Oh my god, I'm going Royce Lewis. All right, set three. We got Casey Mize. And we got Jared Kelnick. All right, these are not going for a lot. Okay, this is probably just quick sell. Yeah, these are quick sells. Wow, man, we made a lot of subs from those first two prospect pack openings. All right, the elite. I would love to get the elite round, and probably I'm probably gonna go with I maybe Joe Adele, maybe Ernie Banks, but let's see what we got. Okay, so we pulled the mid. Um, I'll probably just go with Kutch because he goes for the most. All right, home run derby. I would love to pull this round on either pick. I'm probably going to go with Cano. Nope, we got the base round. Set two. Let's see what we got. Base round again. Hey, we got the we got the rare round. We, nice. Um, as much as I love Aaron Judge, I'm not going to take him. I think I'm going Big Me Pete. And the beach ball. Okay, we got the base. I'm going to go with Posada. He was one of my favorite cards last year. I want to try him out. This one, I'm going Kenley. So I can add to that bullpen. On this one, I'm probably going to go with Vita Blue. We got the tops now. So we're almost done. All right, so we got... Okay, we got pretty much four pitchers and two hitters. I mean, we're probably going to get all of these guys because, you know, with the Player of the Month program coming out. If it's anything like last month, we're probably going to get these cards for free. But if I were to pick one, I'm going Clevenger. And let's go. Let's go Conforto. Uh, let's go Buxton. Brian Anderson. And, okay, we got Hishioka, Nemo, or Stevenson, or Howick. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Stevenson. Or actually, no. I'm gonna go Hishioka. That way, I can use him in the event. And then we got the final two. I'm gonna go Baby Chapman, Garrett Crochet. We got Gordon, Mark Cannon, Whoopass, and we got Jordan Luplo. I think I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Canna. And then for the AL, we can pick four. I'm going Geo, Grandal. Frammer and let's see. Let's go Josh Naylor. Alright, and then the final pack opening we got the National League. I'm going Hap, Freed, Lucas Sims. I'm not taking Taylor because I did not like his swing in the moments. Not Flaherty. Definitely not Woodruff. I don't know about fan, maybe, maybe Kinsler because he's got a nice pitch selection. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Kinsler. All right, that's it. And that is the pack opening. The beginning didn't start off pretty well. We didn't pull any diamonds. Like the only two diamonds we got from the show packs were Lucas Giolito and uh, Nick Anderson. But as soon as we opened the ballins, every like all the diamonds started coming. We got. Two DeGroms, we got Lugo twice, we got Sale, we got LeMayhew, we got J-Ram, we got Nen, we got, literally, we got a whole bunch of diamonds in this video. Like I said, it started off pretty slow, but then, you know, as, you know, time progressed, we got more diamonds. And uh, let me add some guys that I want to put in the bullpen. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to take out Karen Chak, and I'm going to put Baby Chapman, and then... I want to put Kenley in. Um, I'm going to take out Gagne. But put Kenley in. I'm not pitching too well with Gagne. I have an ERA over 10. And yeah, this is the bullpen. We got three lefties. Three hard throwing lefties. And then we got four righties. And then the starting rotation. I'm actually pretty close to getting uh, Prestige uh, Hershiser. So I think if I get him done in the event, I'm probably going to put him in. Probably do a debut. And then I might put, like, the postseason guys in here. I might do that probably, like, off, like, when I'm not recording. Probably put them in the lineup. 
and then do a debut with them. Um, I do have Eric Davis Prestige, but I'm going to do a debut with him at a separate time because I think what I want to do right now, I want to do a debut for the postseason guys that I got and then do a debut with Eric Davis, probably do a debut with him along with uh, Prestige Correa, Prestige Hershiser. Um, yeah, it's going to be a very busy, busy time for me for content. But I'm going to wrap up this pack opening. Um, if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. This is a very long video. And uh, like I said, I'm doing a lot of cutouts, split out some stuff. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. If you missed my last video, which was the Hanley debut, I'll leave that in the description. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.